And breaking news on an election shocker in Warren. A fourth term as mayor may have just slipped away for Jim Fouts to his opponent, Mayor Pro Tem Kelly Collegio. Let's get right to 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell, live in Warren with more on this breaking political punch. Alan. Well, Carolyn, I'll tell you right now, here at the after party for Warren mayoral candidate Kelly Collegio, things are pretty quiet. We're just waiting for those numbers to come in. In fact, let's bring Kelly in right now. And Kelly, this race, if you were to talk to some people maybe a month or so ago, they said this race wouldn't be close. But right now you're looking at the numbers and you are slightly ahead. How have you been able to keep this race close and how are you able to be so calm tonight? Yeah, you know what? Um, I feel really good. I'm here with a lot of my uh, grassroots campaign supporters and we were out there door to door. We spent our time quietly just canvassing all those neighborhoods and you know we felt that we were going to have good election day voter turnout and we knew that um, to stay close in this race we had to engage more voters that may not vote in the mayoral race but may vote in a presidential election and I feel that we did that today. Um, it may have surprised some people but you know um, we're pretty excited that we're this close and uh, our campaign had a little late start. You know, I had uh, the passing of my mother on Memorial Day, so we jumped in a little bit late. And um, I think we were able to catch up, and we're going to see, you know, we're just anxiously awaiting those absentee ballots. You know, Kelly, Mayor Fouts has been in office now for, for a decade, for 12 years as the mayor of Warren. Um, your push to, to take that spot from him really began how? Um, you know, I became concerned once I got on council. I saw some things going on in the city that um, I felt were concerning the decline in, um, you know, some housing market, uh, deadbeat landlords that were allowed to receive rental licenses that weren't paying taxes. Um, we have infra infrastructure issues, uh, putting partially treated sewage into the Red Run drain during heavy rain events, and uh, a lack of economic growth, no downtown development. And I became concerned with that. My husband's a retired Warren police lieutenant. Um, we've been here a long time, you know, engaged and active in the city. And um, then, in light with some of the comments that came out that the mayor said, I am the grandmother of a special needs grandchild. And, you know, when I saw really no one else step up that, you know, was a known political name to jump in and, you know, try to counteract some of those things we heard, um, I just knew I had to step in and go for it. You know, Kelly, I know you've been paying close attention to the polls all night when you see that you're in the lead here and it's been so close. What does it say about the voters in Warren, um, maybe about change or maybe about having somebody new in office moving forward and maybe changing the landscape of the city? Right. I think um, the voters that, at least the Election Day voters that came out today, that's what we heard over and over again at the polls. Um, they were looking for something new. They were looking, you know, a lot of them, you know, wanted just the mayor to be, you know, finished with his term. He actually, um, the voters had put a term limit in and they got it put on the ballot and extended it, you know, several more years. And some residents were angry about that, going past term extensions. And um, they were ready and excited to have a new candidate. And some even mentioned that, you know, maybe it was time for Warren to have the first uh, woman mayor. That's something, you know, people haven't really tapped onto yet. And, you know, more of a, a, a mom side to it to look at things and try to pull the city back together. All right, Kelly, I'll let you go back to uh, your friends and your colleagues over there. Now, uh, earlier uh, this week, we did talk to Mayor Jim Fouts uh, about what it would mean for him to, to be reelected again to the mayor of Warren. As I mentioned earlier, that he's currently been mayor for 12 years. Right now, tonight, he's at uh, Andiamos. He hasn't speaking to us right now. Of course, this race, super close. But take a listen to what he told us earlier this week about if he was to be elected again. You know, I never make a prediction about how I'm going to go until after it happens. The voters have the right to make that decision, and I don't want to be preemptive about their right. I am hopeful that I will be successful, but um, I don't take anything for granted, and I appreciate the support the voters have given me in past elections. So again, a live shot here of the friends and colleagues of Warren mayoral candidate Kelly Collegio just waiting right now for those results to finally come in. We're told by the city clerk's office right now they're just counting those absentee ballots and we'll wait and see what happens. But the polls right now really close with Kelly Collegio in the win. For now, reporting live here in Warren, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News. Alan, thank you for the update there. We'll continue to watch that closely, of course.